Yesterday, we saw that the law is good when it exposes sin and shows God's holiness. And today, Paul says he lived on the wrong side of that law in violent opposition to God. But God granted him faith, forgave him, and even used him to minister to others. Paul says, 1 Timothy 1.12, I thank him who has given me strength, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he judged me faithful, appointing me to his service. Though formerly I was a blasphemer, persecutor, and insolent opponent, but I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief, and the grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Paul can't believe Jesus would save a sinner like him and use him to serve others in Jesus' name. And Paul wants you to know that God can save you and use you for his glory too. He says, verse 15, uh, This saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. But I received mercy for this reason that in me, as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience as an example to those who were to believe in him for eternal life. If God can save and use Paul, who once took part in killing Christians, he can save you and use you to serve others for his glory. And how do we respond to something so incredible? Well, by repenting of sin and accepting Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior, and by serving others in his name. Now, what can we say to a privilege that incredible except, verse 17, to the king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's stay rooted in the word.